We at the, now we are at the Mobile World Congress 2016, and um, you had the Indiegogo, and you had a big crowdfunding campaign, and it's successful? Uh, yeah, so we, what we did, we did something different on Indiegogo. We actually got on Indiegogo so that we could uh, create awareness about our device, and that was really exciting. And uh, the purpose of it was to get exposure internationally to places we'd never been before. What's really cool about it um, is that uh, companies that are Fortune 500 companies like Sony um, and uh, Philips have both in did crowdfunding projects within Indiegogo. So since we didn't want to get on there to raise any capital, but we did want international exposure, we jumped on there, had huge success, and ended up being the number three most hit campaign in the history of Indiegogo, which was great. Um, and, uh, and we got our PR firm told us we just got scores of responses from uh, reviewers, from uh, carriers who want the phone and the handset. So that was great for us. We had some little glitches with it, um, and that, as far as like uh, they put, they added a bunch of sales on from our campaign itself, which we you know weren't aware of that that it was going to be done that way. Um, but uh, you know, but overall, it was a great, huge success for us, and we we're really excited about it. So. Uh, um, you know, for us, it was a great opportunity to get some international exposure. And you had the, the awesome guy that uh, bent the iPhone and he oh, did yeah. a video with you. That's right, Unbox Therapy uh, guy was great. Uh, had a, we had a great time with him and he did an excellent job showing our phone, demonstrating what it does and how it does what it does. Which did you go really show it cool. to him in Canada or how did no, it we work? Took it, yeah, we, we took it over to him. I believe he was at the E3 conference where we demonstrated the phone to all the gamers around the world in Los Angeles. And I think he saw the actual phone. Uh, during that time, we had a prototype that we were working with at the actual viewing uh, when they did the filming of it, too. So. so he's a cool guy, and there's lots of other cool guys, and they actually think this is awesome what you're doing, right? You're getting uh, innovation awards from, uh, from the CES and uh, on Wired and Computer World. Uh, yeah, and we here at Mobile World Congress, there's a lot of big companies. Oh, yeah, yeah. But they're not really doing what you're doing, are they? Well, you know, they're big companies. It's very difficult to, to innovate when you're huge and, and you are like a great big ship in the ocean. You can't turn quickly when there's something in front of you or an opportunity. It takes a long time to kind of get around it. It's almost like maybe the car industry. It takes five years. You see a concept phone. You think, I want that car right now. Uh, the concept car, I should say. And it takes them a long time to get around to because they have their platform. They're building a certain level of development. They're, they got that car coming out in five, six, seven years. And it's always been a little bit frustrating. In our particular case, there are already technologies sitting around waiting to be uh, integrated into mobile devices, into mobile phones and smartphones. And we simply reached out, grabbed a lot of those features, all, everyone that we could imagine that we could put into a phone, put them in there and built the, you know, the best phone in the world that we could ever imagine being built. So there's, uh, for example, right here, there's, uh, uh, we can see that you, you just add a bunch of uh, SD card slots. Yeah, so we've got dual SIM cards for the carriers that will let us do that. For those who order off of our website, they'll be able to get it with dual SIM cards. we got dual micro SD card slots, so you got half a terabyte of memory almost right now. You're getting, the, um, Sandus told us the other day that they're going to come up with a 250 gig card soon, this year sometime. So now your, your uh, V-squared smartphone will end up having more than half a terabyte of memory in it, which is unbelievable. You know, you're literally going to have 564 gigs of, me of memory and storage capability combined together. And what that does is it lets you do stuff like video and 4K. It lets you, you know, do high resolution images for photos that you're going to take off our phone, which has 13 megapixel in front, camera 21 on back with optical image stabilization that's DxO certified for the best performance possible. And the, the huge advantage of that is what if people are using what they are today? They're using their own photos that they're taking for Christmas cards, for birthday cards. And you want to have that resolution so when you print it up it looks really good. But you also don't want to lose your memory when you take all these high resolution pictures and suddenly it says, you know, memory out. And that's happening, people realize it, especially if they're recording video too. So we've done these things because they're really the most obvious operable features that you can find in a smartphone and that's why we put them in there. There are things like increase your battery life by 50%. We've almost got you know the equivalent to approximately 4700 milliamp hours of battery life and that comes from a chip that's in our phone because we've only got a 3100 milliamp battery. You know that's huge for people out there who don't want to keep plugging in all day long and don't want their phone to die you know at two o'clock in the afternoon or four o'clock in the afternoon because of their work day. Um, so that's a huge thing. The memory features are great. Having the wireless HD to project onto a television or, or project it on HD to your wall using your projector TV is huge. You can take any HD quality thing that you film, a movie that you've loaded on, um, anything you've got that you want to put up for presentation, slide decks, 
anything like that allow, as allows you to do it. Even if you're in a neighborhood, you just want to show the local folks what you did on vacation. You can invite them over to your house, put on your projector, put on your TV, and all that it requires uh, to do that. Um, it really, is just the phone itself and a, uh, an inexpensive uh, a receiver that is the wireless HDMI. It's basically wireless HDMI receiver that will take the, Im the images from the phone or the pictures or the videos that you've got. So it's really cool. It's waterproofed uh, to a level that we call now um, washable. And that allows you to actually wash it with soap and water, rinse it off, dry it off, and take it and use it. It's also got a sunlight viewability that is incredible. The sunlight viewability gives you the uh, capability to go outside in direct sunlight when you can't really see your phone. There's not a whole lot you can do. And you can literally go right outside in the direct sunlight, watch a video, surf the internet if you want to, pull up pictures and images that you've taken, and, and, and have it right there in front of you on your phone. So, so we, this is not Mar Miracast, it's much better, right? It's, oh, uh, yeah. It's full bandwidth, uh, instant uh, video it, It's mirroring. wireless HDMI without having to use any uh, Wi-Fi connection. So you don't have to worry about buffering. Gamers love it. Um, it's really an exciting you know, feature that we have. We're the only phone in the world that offers it. And all the features I've talked about really are exclusively through us. We've got Harman Kardon dual speakers that really came from a tablet that we put in a smartphone and they're shakeable. So you shake them out and the water comes out of it and you've got that same harmony quality sound nice. if you got the, the speakers wet. And you have fully smooth HD videos? HD quality videos on the phone, on, on the uh, handset. You can go 40, 50, I think down here we've gone as far as about 60, 70 feet away and still getting the wireless HD signal in. So, you know, the guys who invented this are the guys who invented HDMI, silicon image, um, and they did a brilliant job. We're just impressed that people, enterprise can use it, businesses can use it. You know, uh, the, the dad who's doing a presentation for a scout, you know, as a scout master, can use it. Uh, it's just an opportunity for organizations, businesses, and individuals to be able to utilize this projection capability to take something you normally have to show, oh, look on my small screen, and now you can just throw it up there and go, you know, 30, 40, 50 feet away. You can have a thousand people in the room, put it up to overhead projector and project it onto a screen. So there's huge opportunities, and, and the capability of the phone is just immense. There's so nothing really out there like it. Basically, there's a lot of awesome components and technologies out there and right. you just uh, uh, you are we sent a common gear and we stuff. just grabbed them we went out there we've been doing this for over a decade and we just went out there and grabbed pieces here this part there we connected up with some wonderful people who love technology who love innovation and uh, you know we just did something it's really a paradigm shift in the mobile world that's what we're doing it's a quantum leap in mobile technology for smartphones and that's allowed us to kind of you know get an edge on the industry you can see all the awards we've won and what's been happening out there it took us a, a you know a good year to perfect some of these things six eight months in some cases but what we've done is we're in the, we're getting ready to ship next month in March uh, 2016 and we've really been able to do something that no one's ever done in the smartphone world and part of that is because again we can move quickly we're, we're small we're agile and we have the ability to to move quickly and make quick decisions, whereas large companies, you know, unfortunately sometimes with all the money they've got, it takes a long time to make decisions, long time to do the testing and try to decide. And you know, we all know this, this is a, an unfortunate thing in the corporate world, and hopefully we never get there, but it happens to most companies. You have to make decisions sometimes to not lose your job instead of to be a leader. And so what we wanted to do, and what we've always planned to do is to be a thought leader, you know, be an innovative leader, and to always innovate in a way that is something that is usable for the industry. There's so many technologies out there, I kid you not, we hear about them, we see them at the show. We've had a number of them come up to us at the show that will be integrating into our phone. And it's all because they've seen that we're the thought leader and that we're innovative and they want to be a part of what we're doing. And you know, if you have a product or a service set there and you want it to be put into a phone, you don't want to go someplace where you have to wait for eight or six months and call seven or eight times and still never get called or contacted. You know, and so that's what we do. We're all about that kind of innovation and that technology. But to make an awesome phone like this, you need a don't you need like a billion dollars to get it mass production? How do you get it to work? Yeah, usually you do um, need that much. Uh, this pulls up the end marshmallow, so you can see we got the marshmallow on it. Um, Latest Android already? Yep, Latest. so we got the, this is the marshmallow. So to, to get all these component guys on board and everything, there's a lot of... Uh, it uh, is. So what we did is, we're an umbrella, under the name of Sega, what we did is we pulled together some of the finest uh, minds and the greatest achievers out there in the mobile world. 
and we just said, hey, let's come under the name of Segus, let's build a great phone, and let's put it on the market because we're all smartphone lovers. Uh, we've got a guy who's uh, been a top seller of smartphones. Uh, you know, they've sold 35 million a year under his leadership uh, and long tenure. We've got a guy who helped run Motorola as a senior engineer. Um, we just got these incredible people on board who've made a difference in the mobile world long before we met them. And uh, that was what we wanted to do, is build a team of people that were outstanding people that love mobile devices. They benefit from the stock in the company. Um, it is really hard to do this. I mean, we have to say that it's not an easy task, uh, as those of our customers who've been waiting for over a year for this phone, uh, yeah, of over a year for it, in some cases about nine months. We've had problems with manufacturers. We ended up hiring our own team of engineers and executives, and they did a fantastic job. We've already got two samples of the phone. Next month, we get the final version for shipping, and we've got some incredible innovative opportunities that we'll be doing as things we're going to be changing in the next version of the phone, and some stuff we're going to be doing for software add-ons and photo updates, over-the-air updates, that I think are going to really impress people. Because this phone, you've got two jobs we have. We have to innovate and build that phone, and then we have to provide a customer support level that makes people feel like they're getting real great um, service from the product that we produce. And so that's all about software. That's all about you know making that happen and making sure that they have the kind of software, uh, really, and the, and the innovative ideas in the software that they want to have and that we think are critical uh, for the really for the proliferation of the growth of a new industry. And this is that's what this is. It, it is that quantum leap that creates that takes our industry to a whole new level. And we're just stoked to be a part of it. Because some of these other companies are kind of like conservative, right? Oh, very, They yeah. take things easy and like uh, one Samsung to the next kind of looks the same. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you want to, for example, um, uh, it'd be nice if you can partner with some of these guys and uh, like some big carriers just come over and say, I want a million pieces. It, it would help to mass produce things faster, right? Oh, yeah, well, sure. If we ideas. had somebody come in and say, you know, we want to give you a purchase order for a million of your phones, you know, that's what we expect to happen. Um, and then it does make a big difference because we just, then we move into the churn. You just, you order your components, you get the phone ready, and then you ship it to them, and as soon as they've got those phones, they're out there on the market. And that gives us, that's a huge asset for us. Not only does it bring us in revenue, so we can go ahead and continue building the next version of the phone, but also gives us credibility out there because the quality of the phone's so high. And that's a big thing for us. You know, building a phone is one thing, but making sure it's the kind of quality that people love and they want to have and they want to come back to and buy is a big deal. You know, it's not, we're more interested in building something that people love and that they want to use and they'll continue to use. Even if it's three or four years down the road, it's that kind of quality hardware they feel really great about. And you know, they've got the opportunity for multi-boot capabilities. Um, some of the carriers that we're working with, we won't be able to provide the dual SIM, and we won't be able to provide multi-boot because they want it locked, but that's okay. You buy it online, you can get it that way, or you can go to your carrier and they'll support it too. Um, but yeah, we, it would be great to get some of those orders from them. We expect those, that'll happen in its time. Uh, part of making a great product and a great company work is, is being patient and continue to work towards and work through the issues and make sure that you get that product on the market.